two points. So we'll write, write, writing the equation. given two points. What this means is they're going to give you two points that, re that are on that e line, so therefore you need to um, find out what the equation is for those two points. So let me give you an example. Example, uh, points. Six four and we're waiting for this. Six four and Five, um, two, okay. At point six four and five two, our part. Write the equation. Uh, write the equation for the line that passes through those two points. Okay. Well, if we write the model y is equal to mx plus b, and we'll write it again over here. This is to uh, help you uh, understand what you need. And you need the slope, and you need the y-intercept. So we need two values, the value for that one and the value for that one. OK. Well, here, unlike the other one, neither one of the two are given. So we don't know what the slope is. We don't know what the y-intercept is. So we need to do something before we actually use it over here. So let me draw a line right here to separate this information. This is going to be my area for my answer. Well, I'm going to separate this one also because I'm not ready to use the, the second uh, equal, uh, model to help me solve for b. I need to use something else because I was given two points. So think about what we learned before we, we uh, figured out how to write equations. We learned uh, of a, some kind of a formula. What formula would that be? That is the slope formula, which is expressed by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So therefore, if we plug in those points in, we're going to be able to solve for m, which is what one of the pieces of information that I need we need to know. So here I'm going to plug in m is equal to, and then we can label these, x1, y1, x2, y2, so we can be able to, to uh, avoid from making a mistake. So we go, 2 minus 4, and then we do 5 minus 6, right? So that's going to give us a negative 2 and a negative 1. Together, they're going to re the negatives are going to cancel out because when you divide a negative by a negative, it's a positive. So my slope is 2. So there, I've, I've figured out one of the pieces of information that I need for my answer. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 2 here. So my answer is almost half done. It, it, it is half done. My equation is half done, but I need to find the y-intercept. So I still need this piece of information here. 
So what do I do? Well, I'm going to use this model over here to help us assist. Okay? So I know that m is equal to 2, and I need to use one of the two points. So in this case, I'm going to use the first one. It doesn't matter which one you select, but I'm going to go ahead and select the first one. Usually I try to select the ones that are not fractions or are not uh, different signs for a reason. It feels like if they're both, if both of the values are positive, it, it might be easier for me to substitute and, and not make a mistake because of the signs or because of the fractions. So then I plug this information in. Remembering that this is x and this is y, we plug that information here. So I plug in 4, we plug in 2, and we plug in 2 again because x is 2. Sorry, not 2. We plug in what? I wasn't supposed to plug in 2. I was supposed to plug in what? 6. Okay? And a lot of teachers don't like the word plug in, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to correct myself. I'm going to say substitute. Okay? So when I say plug in values in place of the variables, okay? So therefore, 4 is equal to 12 plus b, okay? And, and it's true. Uh, in, in tax, they don't use the word plug in. They use the word substitute. But we can address that now and, and remember that. So b is equal to negative 8. So if we know that b is equal to negative 8, then that completes my puzzle, right? My puzzle being the answer, which is the equation of the line that passes through the two points which is y is equal to 2x minus 8. And that is how we write equations of the line given two points. Okay. Now we're going to continue. And, uh, well, actually, I'm going to end the recording right now, but uh, I shouldn't even say that.